Hello all, welcome back to an another session. In this session, I am going to share some shocking news about the future of testing jobs or IT jobs in India, which is not good. So let's find it out what is correct, what is wrong, is it really not good? What exactly is the real truth I am going to reveal in this session. So with that note, let's get started. First thing, you see, if you are from India and if you are uh, applying for software testing jobs or IT jobs, let's say development or whatever it may be, some IT jobs if you are trying for, how we are actually getting the jobs? The reason we are getting the jobs is because the countries like US, UK, Canada and many more are outsourcing their projects to us, right? Whatever the work is there to be done is being outsourced by the companies from different countries like US, UK, Canada and many more. Why they are outsourcing? Because here in India, we have very large talent pool which can work for less money or less amount when compared to okay if they have to go with their you know local resources and all those companies in us uk canada etc need to spend a lot of amount but if they outsource the same services okay that they can get from their local people can become very cheaper here that's the reason that's the number one reason for outsourcing but what is happening these days few things got changed that is we got ai into place artificial intelligence into place which is actually speeding up the work and anyhow you know reducing the amount to be spent instead of uh, you know the count of the number of resources is gradually getting decreased while the AI tools are becoming stronger and stronger, the resources, the number of count of resources required to complete that work is getting reduced drastically. Now, in this kind of situations, while the count of the resources required to complete the jobs is reducing, getting reducing, another aspect or another angle is happening. That is, the other countries like US, UK, Canada and all due to their political pressures or political situations uh, want to pitch in like you know we would like to hire uh, local resources uh, than you know outsourcing the projects because we first okay so we uh, our country comes first then only we'll go for other other things like that this kind of political or mindset political mindset is coming into picture so what is happening here is all the things are coming in place one side ai is there artificial intelligence which is reducing the number of count of resources and you know uh, which is actually reducing the cost for the companies to create the projects same time political political stance where you know uh, political pressures on the companies uh, from different countries are happening where you need to hire people from our local, okay, from our country itself rather than outsourcing this work to other countries and all. So, you see, cost, uh, the companies which are from other countries definitely will have a mindset, right? at least, you know, AI yeah, is reducing the cost burden for me, you know, uh, with the same amount I can get the services, so politically only political also satisfied and at same time the money is also getting satisfied in this win-win uh, situation this is what is the current scenario guys okay that's why what is happening we feel that job market is not good okay in the it field especially in the it field job market is not good whether it is software testing jobs or uh, development jobs you know uh, we are feeling little bit of pressure as this AI tools, you know, gain more dominance and this political pressure also keeps kicking in more. What happens? Outsourcing. There is a risk of uh, outsourcing. That's the reason guys, this is a lot of companies in India 
or laying off the jobs, you know, very big service based. India is all about service based companies, right? Most of the IT companies in India, right? You know, service based companies like TCS, Wipro, Infosys, okay, Tech Mahindra, and many more are service based companies. And these service based companies need to get the projects from the countries like US, UK, Canada, and Australia, and many more, okay? But what is happening? Because of whatever I just now said from the beginning of the session, things are changing a bit. So in this kind of situations also, if you want to get into the IT jobs or software teaching jobs or software development jobs, even though you got a feeling already that the future of jobs in India is not good, testing jobs or development jobs or whatever the jobs is not good, but still you can have some hope guys, okay? What is that? Let me explain all these uh, things that you need to Still, if you want to survive in this kind of situations where competition is very high and all, I'll tell you why the competition is high also. Let's go here and find it out. So I just now mentioned, right, due to the political reasons and the AI, political and AI reasons, political and uh, AI reasons, artificial intelligence, dominance and all, okay? It became a win-win situations for the companies in different countries to hire their own local people. So anyhow, the cost is getting reduced and due to the political pressures these companies are having there, they are trying to hire the local people when compared to the outsourcing, okay? So these companies uh, like US, UK, companies from US, UK and other, okay, companies which generally outsource the projects to the India, Indian service-based companies like TCS, Wipro and all are growing focus the trend is increasing here growing focus on local talent is increasing okay us uk australia whatever the countries it may be want to hire more locals due to political pressure and at same time ai is reducing the number of resources okay so that is what is a ai reducing the situation means it's a benefit for the companies right with less number of resources uh, you know companies can do the they can complete the projects at same time political pressures are there you know they can abide to the political pressures because of the kind of concession they got from the ai tools for a while then what about the outsourcing in case of outsourcing less low skilled outsourcing is getting you know low skill if you are still into manual testing or if you are still into some kind of thing uh, that outsourced thing earlier outsourcing thing which is of low value right now, it is a low skill kind of work you are doing, then this is not going to happen. Less low skilled outsourcing is the first impact the Indian, Indian job market is going to face. No more low skills. Okay. Low skilled people will not be hired anymore by the Indian companies itself because they are not going to get the work, outsourced work from the companies from US, UK and other, okay, outside companies, we generally outsource the work for us. So if you are into the low skill territory, you're already gone. Then rising demand for high skill. In these situations of the AI, even though there is a political pressure of, uh, you know, uh, growing focus on hiring only the local talent, but there will be some situation where, uh, you know, these companies, from who generally outsource from US, UK and all may not get the right talent from the same country. Then they will try to outsource such kind of, they will try to look for such kind of high skilled resources where outside their countries. So rising demand for high skill. So focus guys, focus instead of learning all the dummy stuff, Every day focus only on the high skilled work. Learn something which is uh, trending nowadays. Learn something which is uh, which needs a lot of efforts these days. Okay, like you know, eating uh, eat that frog kind of book is there. We you know we we first have to focus on something difficult first, uh, then later go to the easy ones. Okay, so don't uh, run behind the easy things if you are running behind the easy things a lot of uh, time will be wasted for you and you will be labeled as low skilled resource and your indian company itself uh, our indian companies itself will take your will lay off you first of all but if you constantly focus 
your energy into one area that is high skill, high skill. I want to be a high skilled professional, no matter what. I want to be an expert in programming that like no one else. If that is your mindset from the day one, okay, and the rising demand will happen, guys, definitely, even though after all this AI and political pressure, uh, the rising demand for looking for high skilled resources is still there because of which, okay, because of which, uh, you will still survive in the job and, you know, uh, despite of all this AI and political pressures, we'll get into the jobs, okay? And uh, and in case of low skill, a lot of competition will be there. If you go to the high skill, competition will get lower and that people who actually believe in high skill, becoming themselves as high skilled people only will survive in the industry now, okay? That's the reality of the current situation. Competition AI is reducing the count of the resources, political pressures uh, outside the Okay, and uh, political pressures in their so and so countries which are outsourcing the projects, everything is contributing here to the kind of thing. So people who are into the low skill will always claim that, you know, there is no jobs in software testing. Okay, don't learn software testing. Okay, there is no need, uh, don't apply, you are not getting calls, all this blah, blah, blah stuff they will get because they will not only demotivate themselves, but also will try to demotivate others also. Don't fall into the trap, guys. Just have some trust and belief system where you can still focus on the rising demand for high skill resources. Going day, going, coming are the days where only the high skill resources who generally get into automation with good, very good programming skills. Okay, you need to be very master of programming language. Okay, such kind of people only can survive in the industry. Otherwise, IT is not for you guys. Okay, go and do other jobs. Okay, get into other areas, which is non IT type. But if you want to be in IT, it may be software testing, development, anything guys. Okay, if you want to get into some IT job, it should be a high skill resource where you should be good with automation testing tools. You should be good with uh, programming, should be an expert or master in programming languages. Then you should be good in API and API automation. Okay, then AI, artificial intelligence, you need to have keep learning the AI related stuff, machine learning basics, at least you have to learn for software testing. but you can also go to the next level data scientist okay related stuff you need to learn blockchain related technology stuff you have to learn devops related stuff security is also booming like anything in the market nowadays security the more you get into security the more the high skilled resource you will become performance performance uh, testing or performance kind of resources performance engineering resources are so much required cloud expertise is also more and more important these days so focus on this kind of areas, guys, and become high skilled resources. And if you still stick, still uh, stick to just manual testing, and you know, don't upskill yourself, and don't become a high skilled resources, you are gone already, guys. Okay. And other thing is that not only the skills, guys, also try to move up in the value chain. That is, grow up in your ladder. Uh, okay. Be some, you know, be, uh, you know, try to solve something for the companies. Just don't be a simple resource who will just get replaced one day. Rather, you become so fruitful in your company that uh, because of your good communication skills, you can get projects for your companies and you can create a lot of, uh, can do a lot of work for your company. Okay, you can add a lot of value to your company in and taking your company in a proper direction and also increase your leadership skills and all those stuff guys also will help you, not just uh, the skill set, but the uh, Indian companies need the kind of people who need to be more knowledgeable, more, you know, uh, have more leadership kind of type and uh, have good communication and can add a lot of value to the company. Such kind of people are only will be preferred by the Indian service based companies right now. Okay. Otherwise will be gone and keep adding as many number of certifications as possible to your resume and all those stuff guys, you know, competition is very high do something even that half percent or one percent ahead you are of other people that will help you in landing the jobs so don't ignore the certification certifications is also another idea guys using which you can survive in the current industry okay so otherwise the future of software testing jobs in india will look very you know cloudy for you if you are not skillful, then it's cloudy. If you are highly skillful and if you are still not, even after despite of that, uh, you are highly skillful. If you are not satisfied about the skill set, that's what is a trend that is going on, guys. 
दो यू आर हाईली स्किलफुल बट स्टिल एम फॉर समथिंग मोर हायर 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 देन ओनली द प्रोजेक्ट्स विल कम आउटसोर्स प्रोजेक्ट्स विल चूज यू एंड ऑल दो स्टफ ओके लेस नंबर ऑफ यू सी रिसोर्सेस काउंट विल डेफिनेटली गेट रिड्यूज इन द आई टी फील्ड बट ओनली द पीपल हु आर हाईली स्किल्ड एंड हाईली स्किल्ड दैन हाईली स्किल विल बी सर्वाइविंग द मार्केट एंड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दैट Uh, another trend is also booming up guys freelancing and gig work is growing okay so freelancing you know you you don't have to be part of a company you you independently will get one projects from different companies from us uk etc etc and uh, you know will uh, do the project for less amount amount when compared to the other companies outside your country and uh, outsourced projects you can do for less amount uh, and uh, you know that is one thing maybe with your expertise or freelancing whatever money whatever the marketing strategy is there freelancing is growing like anything across the globe second thing is gig work guys gig work is small task will be given to you for small task they cannot go for the companies right so a lot of companies may require uh, some small task to be completed so they may approach you so and uh, at same time task based only this much amount okay this task is completed you are done other thing is that a uh, single person will be doing multiple task for different companies all this is called as a gig work guys that is also that kind of area is also growing so hope guys uh, you know now you can see the future of uh, testing jobs or it jobs in india so what you have to do survive in this if you don't have an option if you still have to survive in this it jobs don't lose the hope guys only focus on this area try your level best and become as skillful as possible and highly skillful as possible then only your jobs you will be surviving okay so keep learning guys never stop learning be consistent in learning and uh, also become very good good with programming okay in any it job programming is a main aspect guys the more expertise you become in programming these are all concepts and all that you have to keep learning but programming is something that you have to continuously practice and learn okay the more you learn and practice consistently the more the better expertise you will get in programming side okay even though you are a beginner you can start somewhere and you can become an expert over a period of time so with that note i would like to end this uh, session so hope you got some clarity guys what is the reality of the uh you know testing jobs in india or it jobs in india and what is its future hope you got some clarity so don't waste your time okay don't chill this is a time where you need to survive guys no one is going to help you out okay fine with that note let me end this session bye everyone take care